the second wave of the Ukrainian counter-offensive began. After two months of slow progress on the battlefield, Ukraine has begun to ramp up its counter-offensive in the south, bringing in thousands of additional troops. CNN TV channel reported on this. According to information, the Ukrainian military has achieved significant success in several days during the offensive in the south. Even the Ukrainians managed to get closer to the critical defense barriers of the Russians. The channel's journalists said that the Ukrainians also approached the dragon's teeth built by the Russians in the Zaporizhia region. Yuri Sak, an advisor to Ukraine's defense minister, told the BBC Ukrainian forces were making steady progress. Every meter, every village and every town is a milestone, he said. The liberation of Steromayorsk is a very logical continuation of our campaign, which has begun in early June. Those who are impatient should realize that the progress of the Ukrainian armed forces in the given circumstances is very steady. The second wave of the Ukrainian counter-offensive has begun. On the Zaporizhia front, said Vladimir Rogov, a member of the Russian-installed military civilian administration in the region. Ukrainian troops had managed to break in as a result of several waves of attack with more than 100 units of armored vehicles, Rogov added, saying heavy fighting was ongoing along the southern front. Ukraine's military did not comment in detail on the situation in the area beyond saying its offensive operations along the southern front were gradually advancing. Rogov went on to say Russian forces were using their full arsenal, including aviation strikes, to push back against the Ukrainian units carrying out the assault, which he claimed were Western-equipped and trained.